I have just discovered the most unusual fact from Callaway. And it is a fact that Callaway are keeping from you and I don't understand why. And it could well be the answer to all your golfing nightmares. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about a club that could replace every iron in your bag. And yeah, I mean every iron. Just stay out that bunker. Trying to play this for safety. Oh no, that's right, right yardage. Good selection and, and trust me, if you ignore this as an option, then you're making a big mistake. And that's a decent towering iron. It's a bit right. We've grabbed the front edge, reasonably happy with that, but there could be a far easier option of playing a shot just as short as 150 yards with a totally different club in Callaway's range. But for some reason, as I've said earlier, they're keeping it a secret. So what is the club or clubs I'm referring to? Well, they're from Callaway, as I've said, they're from the Big Bertha range and they are, of course, hybrids. Many of you ask about when are we gonna see a bag of hybrids replacing all our irons? And well, Big Bertha and Callaway have got that option right now and I was totally unaware of it. And what I mean by as an option, they literally run from three hybrid through to a nine hybrid. A nine hybrid. I mean, I didn't even know this thing existed and I don't know why they're not telling more golfers because these kind of things are a real help to a lot of players. They're not for everybody, but for a lot of golfers, these can make life a whole lot easier. And the idea of playing a nine hybrid instead of a nine iron, well, that could be really appealing to a lot of golfers. Now in today's review, I've got a four hybrid, which is more standard, something you'd recognize. And the shots I've hit so far, I've got to say, I've been super impressed with how this thing performs, much as I have the, uh, the whole of the uh, Big Bertha lineup at 23. It's just so fast off the face, these things. I mean, Callaway are doing really well right now. Their Paradigm lineup is flying. And I think in terms of ball speeds, what we're seeing in Paradigm, really impressive, especially for off-center hits. And again, what I've seen with the big Bertha range is exactly the same. And this hybrid lineup is no different. So surely these are potentially a no-brainer for a lot of golfers through the bag. Now on screen for you now is a list of the lofts on each of the hybrids I referred to. The 9-iron goes to 36 degrees, but each of them are also adjustable as well in terms of loft, both up and down. But for me, the idea of being able to add a further 2 degrees really could make this set work. Now in today's video, like I said, I've got a 4 hybrid, 21 degrees of loft, but then I can change that up into, well, obviously 23. It just gives you more flexibility. And uh, the thing I like about hybrids is not only their flexibility in terms of adjustability in this range, but as a club, they've also got a huge amount of flexibility. But just a nice, easy swing again. Clubhead does all the work. Got a good yardage on that as well, just short of that right-hand bunker. But the idea to pick it off of the fairway, in terms of a fairway lie, we play it from the tee. And you know the other place I love to play these things is from round the green. And with a little nine hybrid in the bag, in and around the green, that could be a real weapon. I can't resist having a little pop with a hybrid. Not exactly off the fringe, we've got a fair bit to go. I always ask myself the same question every time I play it. Would I do any better than that with a wedge in my hand? Probably not, and that's with a four hybrid. And I just love the idea of that, you know, seven, eight or nine hybrid in hand with a bit of loft that I can just pop it up a little bit and get it running. That would work as the perfect chipper alternative. Today's video is brought to you in association with channel travel partner Glencore Golf and this week they've sent me out onto the Algarve in Portugal where I will be playing three different golf courses Quinta de Val, Quinta de Ria and Quinta de Cima and I'll be staying in nearby Tavera at the AP Cabanas Resort The hotel has a modern design with stunning rooms and balcony views to match and this resort has an all-inclusive option Pour yourself a beer, a glass of wine, and take the hassle out of golf trip planning. The nearby town of Tavira is just minutes away. 
Today's video is filmed at Quinta de Sima, which is located alongside sister course Quinta de Ria, both of which are just a five minute drive from my AP Cabanas Hotel. There is the odd water hazard to avoid, and then you can finish the day off with a visit to the Contemporary Clubhouse. So if you want more information about this golf trip itself or any other that you might be considering planning right now, then please head over to glencoregolf.com for some more booking information. So the thing with the Big Bertha lineup in particular you've got to consider is the way it looks because um, I think it, it definitely fits into that game improvement category and everything they do so the, uh, the driver is a bit weird in its shaping same as the fairy woods and the hybrid is no difference there's plenty of offset in each of these clubs which is like I said going to be desirable to some and, and not to others and uh, it's a it's kind of odd shape in terms of these um, and I'm not sure that it's something again that particularly suits my eye uh, however what I will say it's on the larger side in terms of a hybrid profile in this case I love the white score lines in the front I always say that because they stand out at the kind of uh, address position and they always look to me as though they're presenting more loft at the ball than uh, you actually are getting so to speak so yeah I don't know it's not for me in terms of look it'd be my only off-putting thing but again I go back to the idea of you can have a full set of these through the bag the type of player that's looking for that as an option I think these are going to be absolutely perfect for and the kind of shaping and profile again is perfect for that golfer again is highly likely to struggle with a bit of a slice hence why there's so much offset in the Big Bertha lineup as well so yeah every reason as to why these are put together the way they are maybe just not for me right the next shot we're going to contemplate is what hybrids do better than irons is get the ball out of the rough and this is only sitting down in the semi rough but all the same I mean that's just ridiculous in terms of the ball flight cutting through the rough and yeah well way down there the interesting thing for me is there's um, the rough was although I said it was sitting nicely it's uh, got a little bit of dew in there a little bit damp early morning it's quite heavy and the problem is you play an iron equivalent and the likelihood is that sort of rough starts to twist your club and you're potentially stuck on in the bunker in front as it happens the hybrid just does such a good job that width of sole and the ball flight ridiculously good and i just keep going back to this idea that callaway have got a full set a full lineup of these how many golfers would that help these things are so so easy to play golf with that's it another really impressive ball fight ball has done well i'm more than happy i love this place kinda the seam and make sure you check that out on all the videos we've got coming from here alongside uh, glencore golf i'm playing here kinta de val and kinta de ria and uh, we've got an interesting few days ahead right that's me big bertha finished with see you all tomorrow night